virtual family welcome to virtual skills my name is nancy happy new year to all my returning subscribers and those of you coming here for the first time i pray for each and every one of us this year that god will protect guide and perfect his way upon our lives his thought for us is of good and not of evil for that reason whatever we lay our hands in righteousness this year shall prosper in jesus name amen please never mind this long intro you know it's a new year and we have to declare some prayers to our subscribers what we have for you in today's video is how to cook obolo soup here is the result of the classic and tasty fried obolo soup if you want to know how i came up with this classic tasty and delicious obolo soup please sit back let me walk you through my ingredients The ingredients we have for the obolo soup are set on my countertop already. I got here some obolo seed. In case you call it a different thing in your side, it is called bush mango seed in English. This is my organic fresh bitter leaf. I got here some crayfish, ogiriokwe, which is fermented local beans, and habarenum pepper. This is my seasoning cube and salt. This is my palm oil. This is Prawinko. In my place, we call it Isam. For the proteins, I got grilled mackerel fish. It tastes great in obolo soup. I have a full video of how I grill my mackerel fish. Please check the link of the mackerel fish video in the description box. This is cow skin. We call it kanda or pomo. This is cow beef, snail, cow tail and stockfish head you can use the shredded stockfish or any stockfish of your choice they all go talking of the proteins to use for your soup you can use any proteins of your choice okay before doing any other thing let's wash the bitter leaf i will remove the bitter leaf from the stem one after the other until i am done bear in mind that there are different ways of washing bitter leaf but for elena this is the best method one of my Ghanaian subscribers requested that I should teach them how to wash bitter leaf because they like eating it. So, FY, hope you are learning. After plugging the leaf out from the stem, add a little water to help the bitter juice from the bitter leaf comes out and then squeeze with your two hands. As you squeeze, the bitter juice from the bitter leaf will be coming out alongside with foam as you can see. Please note, if the foam is too much, add a drop of palm oil to minimize the foam, okay? Please keep squeezing and squeezing it until the water is clean and clear, just like so. This is the bitter leaf, it is 100% ready and this is the best method for learners, okay? I've hit my pan already and I've turned off the gas. Now I will add the pan back to the heat but without light and then add my palm oil just to melt it. Don't allow the palm oil to heat up at all because if the palm oil is too hot, the obolo will not slime or draw well. Now I've added my obolo as you can see and I will start mixing immediately until the obolo is lumps free. And while doing that, I have to apply the techniques of being fast. I am very fast as you can see and I'm adding the obolo little by little. Can you see that the obolo is lumps free? Yeah. Now I will add some stock little by little while I stir to avoid lumps because obolo and lumps does not go together. And I will be very fast about that and this is how I will keep adding water little by little until the slime from the obolo starts coming out. Please note your stock must be warm or even hot, don't use cold water, okay? I will add more stock and then stir to combine very well after which I will cover and allow it to boil for 5 minutes before adding any other thing. minutes guys this is what we got i love this the bubble on top indicates that the obolo will really draw well can you see <laughs> this is good now i will add my ogirope blended crayfish and fresh pepper and i will keep mixing to make sure the obolo will also be free of lumps i'll be very fast about that the sweetness of all obolo soup are those slime in our water now i will add all my proteins of which i have the list of them in the description box 
after adding the proteins i now stir very well to combine as you can see buying and blending your own obola at home is the very best now i will add a little warm water to loosen it all but if you wish you can leave yours like that okay and i will keep stirring Buying your own obolo seed and blend at home is the very best because you cannot get a blended obolo from the shop that slime like this because they mix it some stuff I can't really explain. I am an eyewitness to what they mix in obolo since after seeing it in my clothes trader's shop, I stopped buying already made blended obolo in the market. Now I've added my seasoning cube as you can see. Now I add some salt to test and now stir to combine. Guys, I added a little water of the camera because kids are plenty. <laughs> I will now cover and allow it to cook well for 25 minutes. Wow, after 25 minutes, this is what we got. The bubble on top is doing me polena, polena in my mind. I am stirring it, Virtuous Family, as you can see. Can you see the slime? I will now add my seasoned grilled fish and then spread it apart and then add my prewinkle. After that, I will add my bitter leaf. You can add more or less depending on what you want and your choice. And I will stir very well. Can you see how lovely, yummy and delicious this soup looks like? Mmm, this is lovely. Mm this is good on this junction I will cover it again and allow it for three more minutes Wow veggies family after three minutes this is what we got this obolo soup is ready to enter my stomach the soup is loaded with some obstacles one can never resist hope you enjoy every clip of this video today if you do enjoy it please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel with a notification bell to be notified anytime we upload a new video share this video to families and friends and drop your comment try this obolo recipe and give us your feedback in all our social media handles this is all we have for you for today thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video bye bye